Do you want me to speak to you or the camera? Okay. Obviously, it's really big, the national series for us. Um, Tour of Britain selection, that's one key, key factor. Um, so we really need to get off on a good start. It's not a home race for me, but it sort of is. My nana and granddad live in Saltburn, um, so family and friends will all be there to watch. Um, and it is a, a, a big deal. You know, the, the first national series is, is always um, an interesting event. Obviously, there's new teams. Everyone's moved, moved teams, different riders and different teams. Um, so different dynamics. Um, Klondike's um, an unusual one as well because of it's obviously got a lot of climbing in, but you know, one year it's been a sprint, one year it's been a breakaway. This is the third year, so um, I know there's been slight changes to the course, um, but we've got a, a, a good team going. Um, one that, you know, we've got some really fast guys um, and some, some good climbers and, and people that can climb and sprint. So hopefully we can uh, get a win and, and have a good start. many rounds as possible. It's that, that, that simple. Um, you go into each race looking at individual um, and we want to win each race with one of our team riders so we'll be going into this looking to win and um, looking to get as many points as possible for Tour Britain um, and then we can don't need to worry about the Tour of Britain selection if we're if we're you know a clear out and out favourite to get into that then we can stop worrying about that and just work, focus on, on winning bike races but you know it's quite simple really the best way to, to qualify is to win and um, and yeah, that's one of the things we're, we're going to try and do. Um, one of the ones that we're going to struggle with is Lancaster. Um, I know we've, we've got a split team over that, so um, we need to try and get a bit of a buffer um, for that. Um, no, there is a certain events you'll target. Like for me, uh, Reservoir would be one that I'd target a few years ago now with the, you know, the lumpier stage. Uh, I can't really target that. I'm too heavy to do that. Uh, but like Lincoln, for example, you know, for, for us, Tour Series, obviously we won it last year. We'll try and emulate that again this year and Lincoln sort of falls right in the middle of that. So that's a period where I'm looking at trying to be going as well as possible. Um, it's a race that suits me. So that's one that I would like to win. I've still got second there last year. Um, two, one of my teammates now, Alex Richardson, um, that we brought into the squad. So I'd probably say that's, that's one of the ones I would certainly be looking at trying to get the best result possible. It is um, the Chestnut Holmes Lincoln Grand Prix, one of the oldest races on the, on the calendar. It's the most prestigious. I think it's, it's, a, it's a bit like the British Monument as such. Um, you know, I think that's probably overstating a bit compared to Tour of Flanders and Roubaix. But, you know, it's, if there's a premier calendar that people want to win, that's the one. Um, you know, the crowds at Michael Gate are fantastic. And I got second, year, second last year to, to Alex Richardson, who's obviously a teammate now. So, fingers crossed we can, um, we can you know, win that stage again. Uh, win that race again um, and hopefully it can be me on that top step. It's fantastic obviously I think over the last years really since sort of 2011 there's been um, a massive sort of surge of talent in Britain and you can really see that with the fact that so many riders now are going pro on world tour you know they're, they're staying in Britain and doing British races along with the, the continent they're not having to go to France and Belgium all the time um, and I think that with the likes of the academy and stuff have really brought on um, our sort of road calendar and road scene um, and hopefully it can keep going um, you know get more races on the series um, and you know we'll have and make them all you know UCI I think that's the that's the big thing if we can get them UCI like what they are in Holland and Belgium and attract teams over to Britain as well that'll you know just jump that standard of racing up that one step further and I think you know we'll be a highly competitive nation then on the road all the time. I would say that riding at home is always the most enjoyable thing, you know. Um, Lincoln's probably under what sort of Tour Britain and, and Tour Yorkshire is obviously because they're, you know, massive races, um, well publicised on TV, etc. Um, Lincoln's probably the, the next biggest thing. Um, but riding in front of home crowds is, is always um, nice. Um, it's nicer to win at home than it is, you know, abroad. Because um, let's be honest, the Brits want to see the Brits win, the same as the Dutch want to see the Dutch win. Um, so yeah, it's, uh, it is nice winning abroad and getting one over the foreigners, but uh, I prefer winning at home.